Canary cockbirds and badger riggers, Java sparrows and cockatoos. We got more birds than the London Zoo. Get yourself a white canary and start your day with a song. Look, look, I've told you before, come back when you're a buyer. Fent out pigeons is for the connoisseurs. Treat this sugar up roasted. Ah! He's left the stitches in. What a boy, oh. Chick. <laughs> I can't sell even your trousers, Mr. Kendinsky, if you don't finish them all properly. He left the stitches in. You give them to Sam. Don't worry, Joanna. No one has ever looked after my stall better than you. Sam, where's Sam? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I can take your picture now. Fine. I can give you an hour, then I have to photograph a fashionable wedding group. Can you come to the gym now? Right away. You can spare me? Hmm? Good. Here, look what I dug up. That's terrific. Might be a bit small. Just try it for size. How's that? No, no, back further, near to the picture. Now, look, if you stand right in front of it, you can't see the flag on the castle. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's have the Grecian one. The Grecian one. How about that? Such striptease displays. For what? How else will I see my muscle development? How about the trapezes? Muscles. Muscles? And what's wrong with muscles? With such pictures, you can win the Mr. World Competition. A fortune. Look at Sonny Abrahams. Nearly been the fifth Tarzan. Look at Chick Eisner. Got his own gymnasium. Boat muscle man. There's money in it. Now look, Sam. You get one set of pictures, right? OK. Now blow up those muscles while I get this stuff down to the gym. But remember, if the Body Beautiful magazine takes them, my name goes on underneath. Sylvester, court photographer, copyright reserve. Such a ridiculous performance. Proper efficiency of one's muscles is vital. Listen, a fellow like me, what have I got? Ah, his physique apart. What? This way I make the best of myself. To be Mr. World is something? Make the best, certainly. But what for photographs? And these, and these. Leave Look, me I've got no time it. for arguments, Sam. I'll see you down at Blackie Isaac's gym. OK. I can give you one hour. Right. Now, I've got to move on. I haven't much time. That's a new muscle you got there? Yeah, that's a tricep. Ah, you had that last week. Don't you want to be Mr. Well, Mr. Kadinsky? For me to be a trouser maker is already enough. My father reckoned that Kandinsky and son could make complete suits. Him being a number one coat maker. Life is all dreams, Joe. Dreams and work. And that's all it is. So what can you do? What can you do? And that's how it is. How do you make the eyebrows go up, Mr. Kadinsky? You must grow old, girl. And then the eyebrows go up there because they are looking forward to the rest. I'm a bit bored with that chick. Well, try a dog, Joe. Or a lizard. Or two, three fish. Fish is interesting. In spite they don't got muscles. Maybe my father can send me a lion from Africa. A lion is not a suitable pet for a boy, Joe. 
Why do lions have such big teeth? You see, Sam's muscles. Every animal, when he was created by the Almighty, was given one extra special present. The lion got big teeth, Sam got big muscles. And what did the Almighty give you? Me, he didn't make up his mind yet. That could be some time our patents the impressive. <laughs> the amazing thing is, my joke, that although there are so many animals, the Almighty doesn't run out of ideas. This makes him the Almighty, you understand? In fact, you can call it his particular gift. Yet in all these years, he doesn't run out of ideas. First prize I win, you know what? I buy Sonia a diamond ring and we get married at last. Four years engaged and you don't buy her a ring yet. Yeah, that's not nice. On my wages, what can you do? Why don't you marry a lady who already has a ring? <laughs> if you can get an elephant into the house. <laughs> Maybe my father could send me a unicorn from Africa. A unicorn is a wonderful thing, Joe. To him, the Almighty gave the most special present of all. Marvelous. And magic. A unicorn has this one horn in the middle of his head worth 10,000 pounds cash. On sight, anywhere in the world. So much for only one horn? With two horns, it would be something different. And not so good. And because by this single horn it can grant any wish you like. Really? Come on, Joe. That's a nice pair of trousers. You take it outside to your mother, Joe. Any wish. Come on, Joe. Let's go. Come on. Can't wait any longer. Sam needs my help. Photographs. All right. Don't be a nuisance, Sam. Then. Wipe your nose. Your chin's bleeding. Not on your sleeve. Hey, I'll go. Thank you. You think all your husband has to do is write letters every day, Joanna? I wasn't expecting a letter. Elfie! Stop kicking that horse! Since you came to live down here, you didn't really uh, go short of letters. You had a letter last week. He writes every week, unless things are bad. Or well, maybe this delay is because he's putting through some important deal. South Africa is a long way away. While he is working hard to make there a place for you, you must just wait with patience. Of course, he's got other things to think about. Midday is another post. Maybe then a letter. I can't expect him to write letters all the time, Mr. Kandinsky. You worry too much, Mr. Kandinsky. You look after himself all right? That's right. Don't be confused by the sex on the original Madam Rita. Here you are, 25 bob, where you like. Listen, come here. Here, you heard a Christian Dior? Well, I'm Yiddish at Dior. Here you are, 25 bob, where you like. Madam Rita, can you spare Sonia? Look, for all the good she is, take her, you can have her. Madam Rita, ropes in all sizes. Here, I'll tell you what I'll do. I won't charge a pound. Or 25 bob, 15 bob. Sonia! Sonia! What is it, Sam? Photographs at the gym. Come on, hurry. Oh, but I can't. I, I've got to finish this. See you down there. Come when you can. You didn't see today. She's gone platinum, did it? She's a bit brassy, isn't it? I think it's very nice. I wish I hadn't done it now. In six months' time, it will be about the same as ever. You have to be careful it doesn't rock the roots. Is Sam still engaged, Sonny? As if you didn't know. And you know, such a long engagement. I always say better a long engagement than the way some I could mention carry on. Some get a very good time, I can tell you. So, Sonny, I suppose it won't be long now. I'll send you an invitation, don't worry. Sam is a good boy. I hear these muscle boys are useless. He is a good, hard-working boy. No ring yet, I see. Still, you, Mr. World, could always get married straight off in a registry office without the frills. After all, some have to. I don't get straight married like a pauper in trouble to anyone. That's right, dear. Always start as you want to go on. Mind you, he is taking his time about it. Four years and no ring. Funny thing, a fella proposes but no ring. You're sure, Sonia, he did say marry? Here, yeah, come on, ladies. Dresses for everybody. Let Madam Rita dress you. You know, Sonia, some men make better husbands if you don't marry them. But there are others. Well, a girl's got to help a fella to make up his teeny mind. 
I'll help him. My Mr. World. No, that's no good. It's too small. Let's see if he can get those tough ones up a bit. You mean adultoids? Yeah, yeah, that's better. <laughs> now hold it there. Quite still. Hold it. How's this for the end of the second round? It's all stuff. You got to give the public new gimmicks the whole time. You know what I gave him once? A couple of women wrestling in a ring full of fish. You should sign up a couple of fish who want to wrestle with women. This is my best position. Okay, that's Relax, good. boys. It'll come all right on the night. Now that you got all that, what are you going to do with it? What kind of question is that? I'm going to take a crack at the Mr. World title. I can fix you up in the wrestling, a few fights. Nothing doing. Wrestling is the worst thing you can do for the muscle development. You could make yourself some real doll. Out. Mr. World, pie in the sky. And afterwards, a muscle-bound hunk of stale mayo cheesecake. Definitely not. A <laughs> muscle oh, yeah. boy. Excuse me. Now there's a fellow who really knows what time it is. Hi. How are you? Fine. What are you fighting with? Tonight. Give me a ticket. Joe. What a comeback he's going to make tonight. And for real, though. The Python is a thing of the past. The old booze finished him. Not a drop in three months. Okay, champ, we're ready for you. Python boy, you're looking fine. I'm pleased to see you. Hey, Blackie. Oh, what a smell of fish and chips here. Open up that door. Where's the wreck? The wreck. That's good, Python boy, the wreck. Champ, <laughs> I want you to meet the pipe. You done well, Python. That's how it is. Some go up. Some go down. That's how it is. But this three years, you don't need to change. You gotta take it easy with him, Python. He's getting on. So let's get it all rehearsed and there can't be no slip-ups. What do you got in mind, Blackie? Eight rounds. The champ takes the fall in the fourth. Hey, Blackie. <laughs> what do you got there? Do you mind, sir? Excuse me. Leave him alone. Go on. Get out of here, will you? <laughs> Just a cream puff. <laughs> Now I show you this one first. How's the well-known fiance? Everybody seems to be going blonde around here. Banana, right? All right. Marilyn Monroe has come out like a sort of a rash. Nice big bag of coconut. How's that? Yeah, head up. Hold it there now. This is it. Love it. Hi, Sonia. <laughs> Sonia, darling, he's in wonderful shape, that Sam of yours. You're going to be a very happy girly, I can tell you. Once you're married, everything is wonderful. Only how long does it take to get married? A long engagement is a good thing. You get to know one another. Amy, how are the chips coming? The chips are still a bit hard. Amy, go finish your piano practice. Colton Pezzan, go play. Oh, Uncle Blackie. You fancy a few chips, Sonia? Uh -uh. I'm certainly looking forward to your wedding. Me too. You know... There's one boy who, to me, is like my own son, my own flesh and blood. Mind you, he's stubborn. If only he didn't have this muscle boy nonsense in his brain the whole time. But it gives him a wonderful physique, which is nice in a fella. Certainly, but what good does it do? I'd like to help the boy out, I don't know. Maybe I could fix him three, four fights. He can make himself a lot of dough and not get hurt either. He's a popular boy, be a terrific draw. In the wrestling? And the rest of you could make good money, which is nice, if you're getting married. I'll have to be going now, Sam. See you later on. Hi, Donnie. Hey, kid, be the kid, will you? You didn't say please. How much do they get for a fight? For that fight, maybe 50 pounds a piece. Maybe Blackie could fix you up. Definitely not. Oh, but Sam, you're always saying if only you could make some real money, the first thing you do is get me a ring so we can be properly engaged. Yeah, I know, I know, and I will too. Sam, I'm just dying to get married to you. Sure, me too, me too, baby. But even with all that rehearsal, wrestling can still ruin the body development. How long can we go on like this? Why don't you ask Mr. Kaczynski what to do? Kaczynski don't know everything, Joe. That unicorn business, for example. My whole life I've never seen such a thing. He don't know everything. No? Well, who invented fireworks? Huh? You asking me? The Chinese and what's being pregnant. Joe, Joe, that's enough. Shh. Mr. Kaczynski knows all that, so don't show your ignorance about unicorns. What have you done with your old hair? Huh? I thought there was something different. Like it? Yeah. I liked it better before. Oh! How about this? 
Take it easy with a python. What do you want to do, hurt him or something? Tell her this! That big ox, what's he selling the old boy out for? <gasps> what's that bony thing he's doing there? Cut it out, you great uncle horse meat! <laughs> <laughs> you want to stop me, Cray Puff? <laughs> Cut it out, fellas. Sam, don't. Leave Sam alone. He's younger than you. Fellas, fellas, what are you trying to... I'm biting right through to the bone. David, save it for tonight. Me. Sam, don't! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just wait till I get my unicorn. All right, Blackie. Fix me a fight. <laughs> you mean that, Sam? Him, I'll fight! <laughs> It's bad a deal falling through like that. But Africa is a growing country. Young, strong. It's bound to be hard. Here, so special. I know this man longer than you, Joanna. He came to me a boy, an underpresser like Sam, but ambitious. When he married a girl not from here, I think to myself, mm, maybe. Uh. But he picked himself a winner. I did too. That's right. Yes. <laughs> You don't know us people down here, Joan, if you think that trouble can beat us. Confidence, that's all it needs. Look at me. All my life, I want a patent steam presser. I don't get it yet, but I still got confidence. Believe me, you'll get your farm. Mm -hmm. You'll have to come on a long visit, Mr. Kandinsky. You wouldn't have to ask me twice, I can tell you. With that marvelous climate they got out there, an old man like me can jump around like a bird. Think. Just one or two lucky deals. Just one lucky deal, that's all at once. <laughs> Maybe an orange farm. Yes. Yes, oranges. You can imagine. Smell that. It's marvelous. Wonderful. Mm. Oranges is the best thing for growing boys. I'll do this one for Joe. That's a new passport photographs made already. Good. That's confidence. Why don't you send him one? A photograph of a loved oh, one. Oh, look. Mm. Yeah, passport photographers are nothing photographer. We'll never go. Joanna, there is your whole life to come. But nothing goes right for him there. Two years now, nothing goes right. I just wait, wait. Everybody, everybody, listen! George, George. I've got terrible news. It's wonderful. Sam's going to... Oh, Mrs. Roberts. Shut, 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 shut. Look, 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 The prettiest girl in the whole East End, isn't it, Joe? Look, what do you think of that? Marvellous, eh? Girl? Well, I tell you about Sam. Isn't she pretty, Joe? Go, tell her she's pretty, sonny. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Tell her. I think you're very pretty and nice. How long is anyone pretty? You're pretty so long somebody loves you. And eh, Joe? Can I have the stamps? Oh, I've had these already. Oh, Joe, you are dirty. Well, what do you expect? I was fighting the python. You didn't feed your chick yet, Joe. You just feed him now for a minute, huh? What should we do without you? You don't arise, darling. I am here. She often cries like that. I tell her there's nothing to cry for, but she still cries. Women do cry, you know, Joe. I do wish my father could come back from Africa. Also, there's no sea left, so how can I feed my chick? Well, something terrible's happened again. Look, it's dead. Oy. That's bad. Ay, ay, ay. 
Come, Joe. We give him the full honors. You see, Joe, you're just not a born chick crazy. Can I carry him? I'm getting a bit discouraged with these animals dying the whole time. You see, Joe is very small. Such a small animal can only have a very small life. This, you see, Joe, is why he loses it so easy. If you kept a bigger animal, it would have a bigger life. And so he would live longer. Yeah. Look, Joe. I'll buy you a dog. No, buy me a unicorn with a magic horn. And everybody can have their wish like you said. But, Joe, in the old days, these unicorns was as common as car horses. Wherever you went in the street, you could see half a dozen. Wishes came easy. Whatever you wanted, you just stretched out your hand and there it was. A, a glass lemon tea, a, a new hat, a, a steam press even. No one was poor. But some were greedy, and they stole from the unicorns their horns. We could do with a unicorn. Everybody around here wants something. They all died in their thousands, the lovely unicorns. They gathered together in, in dusty yards and at the bottom of those streets that lead nowhere. They nuzzled one another for comfort and closed their eyes so as not to remember what they had lost. They pined, they shrank, they faded. Hey, it was no life to be a unicorn. They all died. Never jumped to conclusions, Joe. Sometimes in spite of everything, a child grows well, a man goes from strength to strength, a woman's face does not entirely fade. In the same way, some unicorns live. One of them, a clever unicorn, he comes forward and says to the rest, listen, friends, he says. You know, Joe, the best cooks are men. The kings of Europe pay their chefs thousands for stew no better than this. What did the clever unicorn say? Uh, oh, he said, uh, listen, friends, if we won't do something soon, there will be no unicorns left in the world. Be quiet, some of them shouted. Can't you see we are too unhappy to do anything? Don't be blasphemous, said others. It's the will of God. Don't interrupt us when we are crying, said others. It's the only thing left for us to enjoy. But one old unicorn, he remembered Africa from when he was a boy. And he spoke of it to the few of them that still had heart left. And to Africa they went, those few, that very night. Now, there is absolutely no reason at all why there should not be unicorns still in Africa. But in London, today, it's a very unusual thing. So, Joe, we, we keep the unicorn in mind, but the whilst have a dog. Mr. Gadinsky, do you think we could get a unicorn into the house? There is no reason at all why a small unicorn couldn't be got into the house. But uh, that money, that's for a dog. Get on the flower, you're not magic. Thank you. 
I'm not a born chick raiser. Uh, you got another trick of it, son. You got to know how to do it. I'm going to buy a unicorn. Yes, that's right. You go and buy a unicorn. Aye, right, go on, go on, feed it. Don't forget to feed it. Go on, take your nose off the barrel. That's right. You want to smell good? Come to me. Here you are breathing finest perfume of the Orient, especially attar of roses, essence of the lily. Here, gentlemen, one bottle make your girlfriend very friendly. Better make it too. Your fortune very good. Tell your fortune. Cast your horoscope. Are you going back to India today? Not today. I'm going to buy a unicorn today. My pocket's full of money. Hello. Why the little perisher don't say a word? Talks better English than I do. Yeah, what's the matter with you this morning? Oh, mad? Ah! Hello, Joe. What's your problem? I'll give you the bag. I'm downhearted. My chick died this morning. May his tiny bird soul rest in peace. Ah! That rotten chick man, he should be putting a box himself the louse, selling chicks to anyone before they can make a peep peep yet. <laughs> Try something else, Joe. I think I'll buy a unicorn. A unicorn has the most special gift of all. Only one whore that you can grant any wish at all. Hokey pokey, pity you love. The more you eat, the more you jump. One application of the magic wand of flexion, you're nearly there. Taking up the special soldering tool in the right hand, making sure that it's heated up to blood temperature. I can fix him up all right, the python. He caught me off guard back there. I was off guard, that's all. You were completely off guard. Oh, Sammy, look, that's the bedroom suite I was telling you about. You can either have it in bird's eye maple or in sycamore with or without the bedside cover. Yeah, 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 but I can't think about it just now. Mabel got it in Spanish mahogany, but I don't think I fancy that myself. These muscles I got here are not right for wrestling. This pink bedspread I don't like. Do you like the bedspread? From wrestling, I can lose the muscles I already got. At least, Sammy, you can look. I mean, why can't you just look? Ah, good day, madam. You're back again. That's right. Now take your time. Choosing a bedroom suite is a serious business. Go on, try it. Sit down. You'll feel straight away the quality. You don't want a mattress what's here today and gone tomorrow. Your bed is an essential part of your everyday life because you spend half your life in bed. It's very comfortable. Ah, sleep on a feather bed. You think you're rested? Fah, you're wrong. And why? The body is exhausted because the foundation is not taking the shape from the body. Now, this is where I come in, the latest thing in bed comfort, the comfy slumber. You should have this quality. And with each bedroom suite, we're giving the lucky couple a special gift. Wait a minute. I'll show you. Or maybe you prefer a bedside lamp. If so, we've got here a bedside lamp which gives you that soft light, which is so nice for the newlywed. I'll show you the lot, then you can take your choice. Are you still interested in the bed? Because if you're not seriously interested, I... I would have said they were very seriously interested. Man's best friend, girls. There he is, number one house dog. That's not magic. Well, we don't want to let everybody know, mate, do we? Man's best friend, girls. There he is, number one house dog. He's a runt. That's all you can say about him. The weather doesn't agree with him here. You should feed him on oranges. Uh, How much is he? Five bob. He's a bargain. I'll give you two shillings. Cost more than that to raise him. Well, the horn is a bit twisted. I know that. That's what makes him all the rarer. No one is a twister. Very scarce. But it'll grow. You get my personal guarantee for that. I've got three and nine pence. Kids, right bargain, folks. I don't mind heating him if you're tired. Are you still here, bargain, folks? Heavens, I feel like little Bo Peep. Bargain, folks. Right bargain, folks. What are you going to do with him? Have him for me dinner with some onions. Skin him and take the hide off him and cut off the hoofs and the horn. And then we'll have you nothing but skin and gristle. Uh, bargain, okay. folks. Right bargain, folks. I'll give him three and nine pence hitting and six Chinese coins. That's all I've got. Go on, take him away. Go on, away with you. Come, Hawkeys, now. Thank you. What are you going to do with him? I can see you don't know much about unicorns. <laughs>
That's a funny little thing you got there. What is it, kid? It's a unicorn. It's a bit weak. Can I have some love done stuff? Sure, sure. But Python... This is my last word. The Python will fight that cream puff when he's beaten a tried man. He's got his reputation to think of. That's his last word. That's all. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Basin. Come on. But I'm offering you 75 pounds, Python. It's a lot of dough. Money isn't everything, you know. We know already, so don't tell us. But this muscle boy, he's never wrestled anybody before. I tell you, he's got his reputation to think of. All right? Supposing he fights Basin and wins. <laughs> don't make me laugh. Ah, look how we laugh here. <laughs> All right, supposing he fights Basin and beats him, would you fight him then? Go oh, I will. Any time. Well, there'll be nothing left for him to fight. To <laughs> fight Basin, that's rich. Ain't <laughs> that rich, Basin? Well, Basin, I told you to trust old Blackie. Did you fix me a fight? Don't ask questions. Just come. <laughs> Oh, do stop pulling me around. But you can't let him fight the python, Sonia. Look, Isn't Joanna, that the man? It wasn't my idea. I no, 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 no. I got myself into this fight. Anyway, Sam, take away from python the python grip, and what has he got? Ah, this is the grip, see? Sammy will do you an injury. <laughs> The furniture breaks up. A chair like a man, but suppose it was my neck, huh? Everybody close your eyes! Everybody! What is it, Joe? This fighting is for the beast of the field. But at least this way you can buy Sonia a ring at last. Oh, forget the ring, all of you. Will you all please close your eyes? Mrs. Abramovich made me feel as I'm going to be caught. You're going to be so surprised when you meet him. Sam, you don't really want to wrestle at all, do you? Who would? This is how we can get married. Yeah. Come on in and meet the family. Joe, Joe, Joe. Come on, Joe. Come Joe. and have your dinner. I've got my eyes. Oh, do come in. Keep your eyes closed. All right, Joe. You can open them now. What you got there, Joe? But it's a unicorn. Then whose is it? It's mine. It's a unicorn. Oh, but Joe... Isn't he wonderful? Kedinsky, how are you? Joanna, you're looking great. Now, look, Sam. Quiet, everybody, quiet. Look what I've got. Coochie, coochie, man. <laughs> now, look, Sam. The important... Please, impo please. What's this, Joe? It's a small unicorn. My father sent it to me from Africa. It grants wishes. Sammy, only one horn. Unicorns only have the one horn. You said so, Mr. Kedinsky. Looks like a baby kid. Perfectly ordinary. Sam, Sam, do you mind? 
Number one, only one horn. Number two, Joe went to buy a unicorn. Right, Joe? Right. Consequently, it follows he wouldn't buy something that wasn't a unicorn. In which case, he bought a unicorn, which is what this is. Yeah, well, I could do with a few wishes. What's the score, Blackie? Now, look, Sam, we got a lot of money to talk about. Is it all right in here, Mr. Kadinsky? Yeah. Come, Joe, we fix up a house for the unicorn. But I'm wondering is how this unicorn got here. Yeah, that certainly is our problem. Sonia, darling, with me managing Sam, we'll have a great future. You can be our best man, Mr. Isaacs. You mean it's all fixed? That's wonderful. You can call me Mr. Cupid now. Now, Sam, the python can only afford to fight someone with a reputation. You gotta win a decent fight first. He's gonna fight the python. And what's so funny about that? Fight the python. <laughs> Listen, fellas, let me do the talk, and I got the bill for it. Now, Bully here is being a pretty good sportsman and says he's going to lay down for you. Me lay down for you? Because me? Bully needs the dough from such a fight. Because otherwise the law gets on his tail for the back alimony he owes his wife. The only person I'm fighting is a python. It's a personal thing between him and me. You know what the law says to me down this long white nose. He's got to pay Mrs. Basin. Woman is the weaker vessel. You're having a wonderful time at my expense. Fix me a spike fight for ten quid, Blackie. Ten quid's all I need. I'll give you a good fight, don't I? So like I was saying, Sam. Since this is the only fight I can give, Bully, I'm sure he'll be a nice fella and lay down. Right, Bully? Uh, so you see, Sam, after you fight Basin and win, then you can fight the python. You follow? I follow, all right. Now follow your nose right back to your stinking fish shop. I go to a lot of trouble, Sam. Is this being fair to me? Is this being fair to Sonia? What's Sonia going to say? The winning will just have to be postponed, that's all. Four years engaging, you didn't get that poor trusting girl a ring yet. Mr. Kodinsky, can I borrow some money? Yeah, help yourself. I think this unicorn is missing its father and mother. But what can you do? What can you do? Where are they? In Africa, no doubt. Then how did the baby get here? Maybe he was left here when the unicorns went to Africa. I know he should be grown up. But he's no bigger than a dog, not a big dog either. Unicorns can't grow up on their own. They have to be told how by grown-up unicorns. The same as you have to be told by me. Otherwise, how will you grow up? It's the same thing with unicorns. You are, after all, only human. Do you think the horn's big enough for a wish yet? Well, the horn is a bit small, Joe. But we can only try. What do you wish for, Mr. Kaczynski? What do I wish? You know what I could wish for, Joe? A patent steam presser. You open it, so. You put in your trousers, you close it. You press the handle, up comes the steam. Open. There's your trousers. Press. Yes, Joe. How steam press I could wish for. We can only try. But what's the proper way to ask him? Yeah. On second thoughts, first go off our steam press is altogether too much. After all, he's only a very small unicorn. We try a smaller wish. All right, we'll try yours later. Please get my mother to take me out to the pictures. Joe! I'm taking you out. It works! It works! We're going to the dentist, remember? Oh, it doesn't work. At least she's taking you out. This is 50% of the wish. Give the horn a chance to grow. And then maybe you will get a 100% wish every time. Well, anyway, get Sonia a nice ring. You can only try. <laughs> Nice goods, eh? Yeah. But the price is mad. Mm -hmm. What can you expect? Diamond prices are kept up artificial. An ordinary working fella don't stand a chance. That's how it is. Mind you, sometimes I can help out. I got this cousin who works in a diamond house in Hatton Garden. They let him have a rejects cheap. Yeah. Marvelous, isn't it? Five carats, a beautiful diamond. Funny color? Color. You've heard of blue diamonds? Sure. So that's black and yellow, even rarer. Those thieves in there, they concentrate on the white stones with no colour and chuck those beautiful things out. How much would such a ring cost? A fortune. Pity. If things were not so carved out. As it is... Seven pounds. But I've only got four pounds. Four? Yeah. All right, give me the four pounds. Don't push me around the whole time. Let's see if Sonia's got her ring yet. There. It'll make up marvellous as a wedding gown. Oh, Ruby, thank you. We'll make it very full in the skirt. Yeah, you'll make it smashing bright. I got to hand it to you, Sonia. You did get your man. 
bell sleeves are better than all that drape. All the devs have gone in for high necks, no cleavage. Ruby, do you think I should have a long train? You should carry lilies. They're coming useful if he's fighting the python. Hello, Joe. It does make a lovely lot of steam. Can I work the handle? Sonia, what a lovely page boy he'd make. Got a kiss for your auntie, Ruby, Joey? No. Now I mark. When well, the first boy that's ever complained. Nobody asked me if I wanted anything. I think I should have it tighter in the waist. Mm. What do you want, Joe, dear? I need some offcuts badly. Oh, not tighter. Mm. Well, help yourself. You didn't ask me what I wanted them for. Like this, Sonia. What do you want them for, Joe, dear? I'm not going to tell you now. Matter of fact, I'm making this for my unicorn. Hmm? I wished him to send you a ring. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you, Joe. Sonia, darling, I'm very happy for you, but that's enough dressing up in my time. Ruby Dolly, come into the storeroom. I want you to check over those checks. A little work now, eh, girlies? I already checked the checks once. We are now using the double check system for checking the checks. There they go again. That's how she got the job. That job she can do all right. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, such a job as she can do so well. Did you see the ring he gave her? Must be worth about a thousand pounds. What's a ring if you have a champion like Sam for a husband? Joe, I saved you a caramel. Your face. Nick Matherita, his face is even worse. The torso itself. Here, you take the ring. Mm -hmm, but it's on approval. Where's Sonia? He's a hero. That's all you can call him. A hero. Look what Lady Ruby gave me. Come on, show you the must ring. All come and see Sam fight. You too, Dora. Sonia, really, I'm glad. For Gather you. round, girls. A genuine Africa diamond. My unicorn sent it. Sammy, that's a beautiful ring. That's some size stone. Like a growth. Oh, stop getting in our way when we're working. Sonia, we are now proper fiancés. Now that I see who it's for, I'm glad to make a sacrifice. Yeah, oh, more sacrifices. Sammy, Get a load of that on approval. Cry buckets of wedding. What's the excitement? Look, Lady Ruby. Oh, I'm so glad. When? So you're failing at last, eh, Sammy? When's the honeymoon, eh? You fixed a date? June bride. There's just yeah. one detail. The wedding will have to be held over. What's held over? What did you say? Since I'm not going into this fighting racket, the wedding itself will have to be held over until we can afford it. That's all. Wish. Hey, don't go away, lady. I I've got a special night in housecoats. Now we've got a rat style. So with frills, without frills. Just the wedding. So you like the ring? Iceberg always gives satisfaction. Patterns, self-colored housecoats. You can wear for an evening dress. Give me the four-panel scarf. I have got appointments all over. I still got it into the python. But him I can sort out in the street corner sometime. Oh, sure, I can just see it. Straight away, Blackie Isaacs tries to make me into an industry. It's going to be for us, so we could be married. Now I'm held over. Anyway, Sam, this way you keep your fiancé, and Sonia goes on being engaged another few years. But I can't let them make me into something you keep in the meat safe, can I? Don't worry, kid, she loves her ring. I can always tell. Now, don't be a favor. Give me the money, let me go. I've got a living to earn. My mother hasn't got a diamond ring, and she's married. Come along, girls, let's get on with it. How's the fruit trimming? Oh, fine, look. Mm, nice. Mm. Fruit seems to be coming back. Oh, it's a classical style. I have got my pride, you know. Oh, my goodness, I'm late, Sam, if you don't mind. There's something more to say? We're very busy just now with the spring season. Sam? You left something. Lady, don't do it, lady. Look. But it's a wonderful ring. But it's a beautiful ring. My unicorn sent it specially. That's it, son. Even a child can tell the quality. It's like a frog's eye, all misty. I can sue you for that. Ask anyone in Atten Garden. I challenge you. It's cracked like crazy paving. That's a lie. Well, a little bit cracked. Four pounds in the expensive box. What do you want in my life for four pounds? But, Sonia, it's a special bargain. It's something I can't get every day. First I'm held over, then I'm a special bargain. You shouldn't want me for a bargain. Why did I ever let you take me to Epping Forest that time? 
Why did I ever bother? Right, I've had enough. It's enough sacrifices for one day. Do you mind, madam? You want to play through the nose? All right, then. Better go to one of her posh West End shops, walk up a red carpet, have a geezer with a frock coat, take her for a ride. That's what she wants? Let her have it. Listen, Sonia, to hell with everything. Let's get straight married in the registry office. Mary? That's different. Why didn't you say so? Here, wedding ring, white gold. Getting married without a proper engagement, that's a terrible thing to say to a respectable girl. That's right, Sonia. Sammy will give you a couple of rooms in Fashion Street and three babies every two years. Listen, Sammy, if you can't name a date for a proper wedding, then we can have our divorce right now. The most inexpensive wedding and divorce I ever saw. Please don't speak to me again until... So I'll fight. But if I get my neck broken, I hope you marry us off a fat millionaire in a sausage business. But don't worry. I'll fight. What's all the fuss? Sam can't lose. We've got a 